hello children sai ram today we are going to start a new lesson that is chapter number 11 perimeter and area so you all you know about perimeter and area which we have learnt in 6th standard we are just going to revise about this so you know what is perimeter so perimeter is the distance around the edge of a shape so you can see here this is a shape this is a rectangular shape and this is the perimeter which is shown by arrow and what is area area is the amount of space inside a shape so this area this colored area that is that is called as the area that is the amount of space inside any shape so that is the area so we are going to revise what we have learnt in 6th standard so children today we'll do first we'll understand perimeter area which already you have learned so we'll just revise it and then we will do one example and then exercise 11.1 from question number 1 to question number 4 so let us start suppose we have a park like this suppose a triangular park is there and what we have to do i and i run along the boundary from point a back to point a suppose if i start running from here so i i'll start running and i will move in this way and then again i come back to this point a so this blue line is the then this becomes the perimeter of this figure so what is perimeter perimeter is the distance along the boundary of a closed figure so this becomes the perimeter this is the boundary we call it as boundary and any this boundary becomes the perimeter of any closed figure now here you see this is a square you can see every side is a of a units so how we are going to find out the perimeter perimeter of square we will write we have learned this before sum of all the sides so you can see here it has four side A B you can you we will start from here A B plus B C plus C D plus A D and all are of A unit so you can write here is equal to A plus A plus A plus A that is equal to four A so the perimeter of this square square is four A so what you will do you are going to multiply the number of sides by the measure of each side. so it is 4a now next for a rectangle with length l and breadth b so this is a rectangle how we are going to find out the perimeter you can see here these are the two length so we can write like this 2l plus this is also breadth this one is also breadth of this rectangle so we can write 2l plus 2b and now we'll take two common is equal to 2 and in bracket you can write l plus b so that is equal to twice length plus breadth so perimeter of a rectangle is equal to twice length plus breadth <coughs> now next is area of a rectangle we had found area of rectangle by counting the squares but that method is too long so this is the method which we have learned before by counting the square see here you can see this is a rectangle and when we count the square you can see it is numbered here there are 15 squares so 15 full squares are there so area will be 15 square cm so instead of finding out the area by this method we can also find out by formula method so you know the formula for area of rectangle you have learnt in 6th standard so which is length into breadth so here you can see this rectangle's length is 5 cm it's written here and breadth is 3 cm so breadth is written b is equal to 3 cm so area will be how much length into breadth so it is equal to 5 into 3 which is equal to 15 cm square similarly for square also we can find out the area you can see this is a square of sides a so area of square will be how much a into a and that is equal to a square so this also we have learned before so these are the formulas which we have learned in 6th standard 
so that's why i have written again here so that you can recall what all we have learned do you remember perimeter of a regular polygon is equal to number of sides into length of one side so any polygon you can find out the perimeter by this formula number of sides you have to see and you have to multiply it by length of one side the next perimeter of a square that is equal to 4 into side side means you will see the measure of the side and that you have to multiply with 4 then perimeter of a rectangle is 2l plus 2b which is equal to twice length plus breadth area of a rectangle is l into b area of a square is side into side so this is all other formulas which we have learned in sixth standard now we'll do one example a door frame of dimensions 3 meter into 2 meter is fixed on the wall of dimensions 10 meter into 10 meter find the total labor charges for painting the wall if the labor charges for painting 1 square meter of the wall is rupees 2.50 so this is there this question is there in your textbook so please open your textbook first example i have written here so we are going to discuss first example of this chapter so children this is the way we will find out because painting of the wall has to be done we are not going to consider the area of the door because in the the in the question you can see find the total labor charges for painting the wall so we need to paint only the wall painting of the wall has to be done excluding the area of the door so first what we'll do we'll find out the area of the door so area of the door you can see here l into b you can see here is given 3 meter into 2 meter so it is in the form of rectangle so 3 into 2 is 6 square centimeter same way now we'll go to the next part area of the wall including door so that is given here you can see here including door it is 10 into 10 so side into side that is equal to 10 meter into 10 meter which is equal to 100 square meter now we are going to exclude the area of the door so area of the wall excluding door will be how much 100 minus 6 so 100 minus 6 is how much 94 square meter now what we have to do now we are going to find out the total labor charges which has to be paid for painting the wall now total labor charges for painting the wall will be how much as you know 1 square meter of wall will charge rupees 2.50 so you are going to multiply 94 by 2.50 and you know how to multiply this so in a rough column you will first multiply and when you multiply this you will get rupees 235 first you will not see the decimal without ignoring the decimal first you will multiply and at the end you will give decimal point so answer will be rupees 235 so please check this answer you do this question also in your maths notebook now next let us start with 11.1 question number 1 the length and the breadth of a rectangular piece of land are 500 meter and 300 meter respectively find its area so what you have to do first we have to find out the area of this rectangular piece of land and the second part there are and there is another part the cost of the land if 1 meter square of the land cost rupees 10000 so we have to find out the cost of the land also so let us do one by one first what we will do we will first find out the area so area of rectangular piece of land will be length into breadth so this is a rectangular piece of land which you can see a length is 500 meter and breadth is 300 meter so you will multiply this so when you multiply you will get this number so it is 1 lakh 50000 meter square now we'll go to the second part which is given here the cost of the land if 1 meter square of the land is 10000 so how much here you can see we got 1 lakh 50000 meter square so this value 10000 has to be multiplied by 1 lakh 50000 so when you multiply you know this this zeros will be added at the end okay and then 15 ones are 15 and you can see here eight zeros are there so you will get here 150 crore so it will cost rupees 150 crore so children you will write all this questions as well as answers in your notebook 
and you will write exercise 11.1 now we'll go to next question of the exercise 11.1 find the area of a square park whose perimeter is 320 meter so here what you have to do you have to find out the area of the square park and what is given perimeter is given so first what we'll do we'll write the formula of perimeter of a square park and you know perimeter of a square is 4 into length of the side of park length of the side so which is equal to 320 it is given in the question so we know the perimeter so what we'll do we can easily find out the length of the side of the park so length of the side of the park will be how much here this 4 we will bring it to this side so here it is multiplied so when you will bring it to the right side it will become division so we will write 320 divided by 4 so when you reduce this what you will get you will get here 80 meter now what we have to find out we have to find out the area now you know the formula for area of square which is side into side so we have got the side we got the value of side which is 80 meter so we'll write 80 into 80 80 square and 80 square is 6400 meter square now we will go to next question of exercise 11.1 question number three find the breadth of a rectangular plot of land so we have to find out the breadth if its area is 440 meter square and the length is 22 meter also find its perimeter so first we have to find out the breadth and then we have to find out the perimeter so let us see how to do first we will write what is given we know the area so we will write area is equal to length into breadth and which is given 440 meter square so using this formula easily we can find out the breadth you can see here children the value is given length is given in the question 22 so in place of length you have to substitute 22 into breadth is equal to 440 now here you see it is multiplied now this 22 will bring it to the other side it will be divided so breadth is equal to 440 divided by 22 and then you will reduce it so when you will reduce it you will get 20 meter now you know how to reduce so you will get 20 meter now what we have to do we have to find out the perimeter so perimeter of the rectangular plot of land so we know the formula that is twice length plus breadth so that is equal to 2 we will write here and inside the bracket we know the length length is given in the question 22 and breadth just now we have calculated that is 20 so we are going to write these two values and we will put a bracket so when you put a bracket that means we are going to add this first so we will add it we will get 42 and here 2 is there and there is a bracket that means what you will do you are going to multiply so 42 into 2 is 84 meter square so the answer is perimeter of this rectangular plot of land will be 84 meter square now next question question number 4 the perimeter of a rectangular sheet is 100 centimeters so here we know the perimeter of the rectangular sheet and if the length is 35 centimeter length is given now what you have to do you have to find out the breadth and then based on this we have to find out the area of the rectangular sheet also so let us see as we know perimeter so we'll use the formula perimeter perimeter is equal to twice length plus breadth which is equal to 100 centimeter so we'll write here 100 centimeter now whatever is given we'll write twice we will write outside the bracket inside the bracket what we'll write length is given so we'll write length plus breadth we have to find out so we'll write here plus b or you can write breadth also that is equal to 100 and now what you'll do here it is multiplied bracket is there it is outside the bracket means here it is multiplied now this two we will take it to the other side so when you'll take it to the other side what you'll do 100 will be divided by 2 and 100 if you want you can add one step or you can directly write 50 100 divided by 2 is 50 so now what you will write 35 plus in place of breadth you can write b is equal to 50 so now you can see an equation is formed now we have to find out the value of b so b we will keep here this we will take it to the other side here it is positive and then when you will take it to the other side it will become negative 50 minus 35 is 15 centimeter 
now we have got the breadth also and length is given in the question so easily we can find out the area so area of the rectangular sheet will be l into b and l into b in place of length we will write 35 which is given in the question and breadth we got just now 15 we'll multiply and then answer you will get 525 centimeter square remember unit is very important when we are finding out the area it should be square centimeter and when we are finding out the perimeter you have to write just centimeter here you can see perimeter is given in centimeter now this is your homework for today 11.1 question number 7 the questions which we have done same way you are going to solve this in your maths note thank you that's all for today take care